What's up guys? We're gonna be uh, cleaning this uh, Subaru Cross truck today. It's pretty filthy. Uh, it's kind of like the first beautiful warm day out. It's Easter Sunday today and we're gonna be pretty much stripping this thing down and getting it beautiful again. So it's been, uh, hasn't been really clean that much because it's been winter and now it's finally starting to get warm out. So we're gonna get rid of all this stuff. We got bugs that are stuck in the clear coat. You got little pieces of iron that are in there and starting to rust, um, pieces of tar, Pretty much you name it, it's in there and you got little Mars and stuff on here. We're gonna be polishing it, sealing it, going over the whole thing. Um, if you stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing uh, an in-depth videos on just cleaning wheels and tires, inner fender wells. I'm gonna be doing other ones on little tips and tricks when you're actually cleaning uh, the body of the vehicle, uh, cleaning windows, interior, exterior, pretty much anything you can think of I'm gonna be doing little shorter in-depth videos on it, how I do it, what products I use, and uh, really how to get the best job you can get. So stay tuned guys. All right, so first things first is I'm gonna spray the whole entire car down. Um, if you have it, pressure wash, no matter what, other like over a, just a generic hose, because you're gonna get a lot of pressure, you're gonna be able to get a lot of that, your bugs and everything off first, and you're gonna have to worry about getting in that with the mitt, because when you're pushing around bugs and nastiness that's still on the paint, What's that doing is scratching it. So I'll, I like to get it nice clean with the pressure washer first. Um, scrap everything I possibly can. And then I'll move uh, next to a foam cannon. What your foam cannon is gonna do is gonna get the soap all over the car. And the goal is, is you wanna spray um, the whole car down. It's gonna settle and that's gonna start to lift all that stuff out of the paintwork. It's gonna loosen up a lot of stuff. And as it sits, it's all going to run off and it all runs off of the vehicle. So you don't have to worry about rubbing that around as well. And then we'll spray it down and then we'll move to actual uh, cleaning. So we'll get that started. got done foaming it uh, usually when I foam it I like to let it sit three four or five minutes really let it soak in and let all that foam run off if you spray it on and then you spray it right off you pretty much just wasted putting it on like you put it on for no reason because the point of it is to have all that stuff run off so let it just run off okay so I was being lazy earlier and I didn't feel like looking around for these but I was getting really annoyed with this hose when I was foaming the car down these right here are the best thing ever made on earth they're like 10 or 12 bucks or something like that on Amazon. And you just slide them. You just slide them right there in the corner of the wheel. And you put them around the whole car. And when you're walking around, your hose, it's just, well, it's stuck over there, but it just glides around the whole car. How crazy is that? tires um, later in another video I'll do a full in-depth uh, tutorial on how I clean these best way to clean them products everything but right now I'm just gonna kind of just give you guys a, a speed up version you're gonna pretty much see um, how I do it at a thousand miles an hour so let's do that
so I just got done the wheels. Been looking mint. Now we're gonna do the whole body of the car with my nice Don dish soap and my big mother effing sponge. All right, so since this car, since we're doing like a full strip on it, I'm gonna use dish soap and I'll explain why. So normally if I'm gonna be doing a routine wash on like a normal car where I'm not stripping anything down, I, I like to use citrus washing gloss. Other one I like to use is uh, Adam's, um, their normal blue soap. Super great, the lubricity on it is insane. I'm mean, just high quality soap, I really like them. But since I'm not doing a routine wash, I'm gonna be using Dawn dish soap. And what this does is this helps strip any of the previous wax, sealants, anything that you was on the car prior. Um, and also since it's a degreaser, it gets a lot of that road, road grime and everything off. Um, but I wouldn't use this consistently because I mean, like I said, it strips the car. So if you have a nice car that's pretty much already clean, you got a sealant and everything on it, and you decide to use Dawn Dish Soap, you just took all that off. So this is only for when you're stripping the car. But it works great instead of using Chemical Guys. I know it has a stripper wash. There's a lot of detailing companies that have stripper washes, but they're like three times the price of this and they do the same thing. So Dawn Dish Soap all the way. I like to do top from bottom uh, because when you start at the top, you're not chasing yourself. So if you start down here, you're gonna grab all that nasty stuff and you're gonna rub it around on the doors and the windows and scratch everything. But if you start at the top, all your dirt's gonna run down. So you start at the top and work everything down to the bottom. So started at the top, now we're at the bottom, now started we're here. At the top, now we're at the bottom and we end up somewhere in the middle here. Another thing I like to do is when I'm washing, go in straight lines, don't go in circles. Because what that does is inevitably, no matter what, no matter how hard you try, you're gonna be, when you're rubbing like that, you're gonna be grabbing some type of contaminant and you're gonna be scratching. Um, but if you go in circles, now you're keeping it in one spot and you're putting these big circles. If you put it in strong, straight long lines, a lot harder to see and a lot less uh, bad looking when the sun hits it. When you, If you look at different cars, when the sun's hitting them, you'll literally see like these spots where it's just like these circles. It looks terrible, but long straight lines reduces that uh, scratching look. Got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. got done spraying it all down, wiping it all down and everything, so now I'm gonna dry it off. I got two towels I really like to use. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the name of this. I know a bunch of different companies make it. The Rad Company carries these, Chemical Guys carries these, Adams carries these. They all have different names for them, but they're pretty much the same thing. It's just a giant, fluffy, ridiculously absorbent towel, and it's a boss. It does work. And then I use that over there. Um, that's a waffle weave towel, also crazy absorbent. So I like to do the majority with this, and then I'm gonna have her follow me and grab all the little parts I miss. So, watch. I just pulled it in the garage and now I opened up every single door so we need to open up the hood but uh, I'm gonna go in I'm gonna do all the door jams around the door because 
There's nothing amazing about having a beautiful looking car on the outside and then you open it up and it looks like some of the league just had kittens all over the inside of your door jam. So we're gonna take care of that real quick. So I just started on the door jams, thinking like, oh, okay, yeah, these are like normal, fairly dirty door jams. And I close this passenger door. Look in here real quick. You see how disgusting that is? That, to me, is a giant eyesore. So I'm gonna take care of that real quick. Just gonna take some Windex, spray it down, let it kind of soak into that. Now I'll take one of these interior detailing brushes that I really like to use and just start going to work in there. It's by no means perfect and spotless, but it's definitely a lot better. So, you know, I feel like with uh, when you're cleaning vehicles and you're detailing, it's not always about what you clean, it's about what you don't clean that really makes the difference in your job. So, if you see something, take care of it. It's worth the five minutes because you can have a perfectly clean car, and then once you see that, you don't, like, no one thinks anything other uh, about your car being clean. All they think about is how disgusting that was. So just take the time to actually clean the stuff that you see. So. All right, so now we got a pool in the garage. We just got done wiping down all the door jams. Now I'm gonna clay bar the entire car. And what this is, this is a synthetic clay bar. Um, it's like a fancy type of rubber on like a little sponge here. But what it pretty much does is you just lubricate it and you wipe down the whole car real quick. And what this does is it literally grabs and pulls all that nastiness that's stuck in this paintwork and it pulls this out. That way when you're running your polisher, your polisher is gonna hit that and then just rub it around and create all these scratches. So the goal is to pull everything out first so you have a nice smooth finish to your paintwork and then you can polish the rest. Okay, so I just got done clay bar in the whole car. It's pretty good to go. Um, got right here all my polishes. Um, these are the View Series from Chemical Guys. Uh, starting at, you got your V32, V34, V36, and then V38. So the lower the number, the more. So this is more of a compound. This is a lighter compound. This is a medium polish, and this is a finishing polish. So we're gonna work through these until we get pretty much a mirror finish. I'm gonna seal it off with Jet Seal, which is pretty much, it's like waxing your car, but instead of it lasting like a month, it'll last about six months and you can do everything from paint to windows, plastics, and do it all. And once I've done that, I'll finish the whole car off with this buttery white wax and make it look hella fun. Jet seal, give it about 20 minutes to uh, dry, buff it off, and then uh, we're gonna put some buttery wet wax up on top and finish the whole car. Just finished up the car. It's looking real good, nice, shiny, clean, perfect. Uh, that was pretty much everything start to finish. Unfortunately, we finished up and it's dark out, so I can't get any uh, a nice video of a wrap around the car and everything, so you guys can really get a good look at it. So I'll get some in the morning tomorrow. And um, everything I used, I'm gonna link it in the, uh, the description down below. Uh, the car has an Instagram page. I'll also link that down in the uh, description below so you can check out some pictures of it. And it's actually pretty cool. It's got a whole nice sound system in it. Do the wheels and tires on it. And a bunch of different uh, little aftermarket stuff on it. It's pretty, uh, pretty badass cross track if you ask me. So um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll link everything in the description below and I'll see you guys on the next video.